What's happening, guys? Mitch Thornberry back with you again. Uh, wanted to show you, give you some tips on how to get these bounties. As you see on my map, right here, see these red dots? Right there. We're going to go try to get this bounty now. It looks like quite a melee over there. Uh, but we're going to do our best and try to get one of these guys. Now, again, I have to uh, reiterate by, uh, usually, by the way, my clothing, uh, my dress and everything, and guys usually pick on me, so we got to be really elusive. Here we come. Looks like quite a mess over here. We're going to try to go the back door route here. Looks like a cop right there. Oh, wrong guy. Wow, what a nice car. Wow, he just disappeared. I don't even know how he did that, guys. Oh, we got one. We got a bastard right above us here. She's right above us. I mean, this is just bedlam in the streets. God damn it, I got killed again. All right, that normally doesn't happen. Like, uh, I just started recording, but when I was just playing before... Uh, I was doing really, really good. So let's see if we can't continue that uh, that action and, and see what we can do here. Oh, no, I just got killed again. <laughs> all right, guys, give me one more second here, and uh, and we should be all right. You know, I had a really awful day at work today, and I just wanted to get on GTA and, you know, express myself, express my feelings, uh, maybe shoot some guns and stuff because it just, uh, you know, I blow off steam that way and... Uh, these melees can be a great way to do that, to, re to relieve some stress in an otherwise uh, wild real world. Uh, the virtual world is a great place to really get out there and, and uh, like I said, express yourself. As you can see, I'm wearing a tank top that's pink and, and the floral shorts. Again, I've been really happy with that combination, along with the blonde uh, Caesar and uh, the uh, matching chin strap beard. That, for me, uh, is a very important part of this, uh, expressing yourself, and I encourage everyone who plays GTA to do that. Now, we got some uh, little shitheads over here, it looks like. Let's see if we can't get after them, guys. Looks really crazy over here. It's been a really wild night on GTA. Uh, I mean, everyone's a lot of really good players. Um, I mean, I'm getting uh, sniped, which normally doesn't happen. So here we go. Where are all these little shitheads? Okay, we got some action over here. Now, again, like I said, those red dots uh, on my map. I mean, there's like just a ton of guys over here. But we'll try to get in there and see if we can't get a piece of that bounty. Let's do this, guys. God, there's no cars. really stressful times in the world. I know the economy is really intense right now. And, you know, the investment into uh, GTA is a good one, I think, and a healthy one. If you can just get some uh, giant assault rifles and things like this and just get out there and shoot them. And, you know, some guys go with a really, really thuggish look. Uh, I, you know, I'm not really into that personally. That's really not my style. I like to jazz it up a little bit. And, and uh, honestly, w what's really surprising is on my karaoke nights, I usually dress like my character, and that's really what I pattern him. <laughs> that's what I pattern him after. So that's pretty amazing that the clothing aspect um, really matches me and, and my personal life on my Saturday night karaoke club. But let's see if we can't get... I, is there not any cars on the highway? I mean, what is going on? It was just a very weird night tonight on GTA, but we're going to roll with that energy because uh, we're professionals. That's what we do. So here we go. I got to tell you guys, what an awful day at work. You know, I got this bitch boss, and she's just been up my ass. So it's, uh, you know, really, really just uh, blowing off some steam here on GTA. I'd love to get a bounty and, and show you guys just how really good I am. I mean, I know a lot of these other dudes, like Expert Thief and... Nanner Sandwich or whatever his name is. Uh, you know, a lot of those guys are really good and technical. I think I bring a different flavor to the game. And uh, one that is, accentuates, uh, you know... Oh, shit! It's really nuts out here, guys. 
This guy's got to get it. <laughs> oh, that was a really nice takeout. Now, these guys are putting bounties on me and stuff. That'll happen from time to time when you... What happens is when you're a really good player like I am, uh, these guys want to really get after you. And then I think also they're... Uh, there's a lot of homophobia in the game also. Yeah, yeah, we got that guy twice now. That's pretty cool. But these guys really like to project their feelings about the world and stuff in this game, which, you know, is a part of it. And I understand that, but... Um, Certainly the way I dress and stuff, my character, my avatar, the way he's uh, presented in the game. People uh, don't like that and really come after me. So let's... Wow, we got some really hot action on us here, guys. Um, I really want to get that bounty. So let's recalibrate here and see if we can head over to that red dot. I got to tell you, you know, what a rough day at work, man. Uh... You know, this lady has just been crawling up my ass uh, about every little thing. And, you know, what I want to tell her is, listen, I'll buy you a PS3 or, or an Xbox. Why don't you get on GTA and I can just blow your shit up? I mean, that's what I want to tell her. But like a little bitch, I got to sit there and, and say my yeses and nos and, and, and treat her like with respect and stuff. But I don't want to do that. I mean, what a piece of shit this lady is. Oh, we got another bitch over here. Oh, he's right on my bitch. Right on my shit. Wow. What I like to do as a pro, this is what a pro will do if you, if you want to watch me closely. You want to get out of there. You're an easy target in that car. So we're just... Oh, we don't want to do that. We're going to just head up right here. And this guy's right on us. Oh, no, he got me. He got me. But that was lucky. That was totally lucky. Um, that doesn't really happen all that much. Like I said, you know, I'm recording, and I'm, I'm really trying to convey a, uh, a sense of this GTA world to you guys. So sometimes I get a little caught up. But we're going to get this guy. Don't you worry. There he is right there. Yeah, we got him. We got him. See, you guys, you stick with me, and we'll be walking tall, all right? So let's just head over here. Because you know this bitch is going to be back. You know he wants some more of this. I mean, I'm telling you guys. A really good way to get these guys your uh, attention. You start dressing a little provocatively. Um, these guys get really upset with that. And they can't believe that some guy in pink trunks took them out. And, oh, God, he got me again. It's okay, guys. You know, some of these guys are really good players, you know. I mean, some of these guys don't even have jobs. And they sit around and just, this is what they do. I mean... I'm kind of a nine to five dude and you know I get on here when I can and I think I got uh, really good tips for uh, the old school GTA gamer and that's what I'm about and that's what I'm here to show you dudes. So let's see where he went. Oh that's what I thought. He ran away because he knows. He knows my style of play and that um, I'm going to come back and get him and and that's what's going to happen. So a lot of times what happens these guys get a presence or, or a feeling of, of what you're about and they run away. So let's just see if we can't get after that bounty again like we originally wanted to. Let me just, uh, what I like to do, like, just hang out, find a neat little hiding spot. You know, reconfigure. Uh, see what's going on. It looks like a big, big, uh, big mess over here. We're going to head over there and see if we can't take all these guys out. Now, um, I do want to reiterate, um... I am very, very uh, pro-gay, and I know a lot of these guys have really bad attitudes towards that, so I just want to make sure that, uh, although I'm not gay myself, I want to support that and, and really, really, um, really uh, show that the gay community is represented on this fairly. I know Expert Thief likes to get on here, and you know it's always about race, and he, he acts very, very street, and... Um, I don't really appreciate it, appreciate that either. I know he, he raps and stuff, but I rap too. I'm going to rap right now. I'm on the roof of a house. And now I'm going to shoot ya. Yeah. Double-barreled whiskeys. Yeah. So, you know what? I can do it too. Everyone can do it. You just got to try. And that's what we're about. I mean, you know, let's see if we can get it, do this, dudes. I don't even know where I am right now, but it's cool. Let's just figure this out, guys. 
Where are all these dudes? Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction. That happens from time to time. The world is pretty wild. Uh, it can be confusing at times. That's why I say just pull up that map. You know what? I think I'm actually just going to stop and have a quick smoke. You know, recently, too, I started playing a lot more than usual. I, uh, I just got dumped by my girlfriend, and uh, it hurt bad. And You know, I get on here, and it makes me feel better. So if any of you out there are having relationship issues and stuff, this is also a great way to blow off steam. All right, let's get after these dudes. You know, I I got dumped, so, you know, we've all been there. It wasn't even my fault, you know. She said um, I wasn't spontaneous enough and all this other stuff. But, you know, um, I tried to apologize. I You know, I bought her a nice pair of uh, earrings, nice, nice jewelry and stuff, and she threw it right in the fucking street, man. It was rough, but, you know... That's just life. You got to get back on it, jump on GTA, and, and make some shit happen. All right, guys. I think I got lost again. Hold on. No, we're heading in the right direction. These guys are really elusive tonight. It's been a really odd night. There's actually a full moon. There's actually a full moon tonight. What What's weird about that, it's not only has it been awkward in GTA... <laughs> in the GTA realm, but the first night I met my girlfriend, it was a full moon, and I think we were doomed from the start. God, I can't, I want to try to find these guys. Just bear with me, guys. We're going to do this, and uh, it's going to be a good time. I got a whole shitload of sticky bombs, which are always a lot of fun. I like the regular grenades, too, and sometimes even for fun, I'll just tear grass everybody's shit, you know, and that's always cool, too. Man, I don't know. All these these guys keep leaving their spots. All right, we're going. We're going here, and it uh, looks like they're going to be up here. I try to be really sneaky. I mean, as a pro gamer, uh, you really want to just, um, you know, be extra cautious because those stats matter. Man, I start thinking about it, too. You know, I start looking at the money in GTA, and it's like, you know, you have hundreds of thousands of dollars. I just spent so much money on those earrings for my girlfriend and then, or my ex-girlfriend now. Uh, but uh, she just threw them right in the street. And then I didn't want to go pick them up, you know, because I was defeated. All right, everybody left, it looks like, guys. So we got to find a new spot. Looks like literally everybody left the realm. So basically right now we're all alone in the world, so um, let's do something cool. I think maybe we should try to go get um, an army tank and really uh, really get nuts. This particular vehicle is not one of my favorite vehicles, but it will do right now. So we're driving, you know. But sometimes, you know, I'm on the streets and it brings up real world stuff for me. You know, like what's going on in my life and everything. And and to be honest with you guys, I did go back a couple hours later and get those earrings out of the street. I mean, I spent a lot of money on them, you know. But I figured I'll hang on to them and if I meet someone special soon, I can give the earrings to them. So we're going to cruise up and it looks like um, there's not too many people in the realm right now, so we're going to head up and get the army tank and, uh, get this shit going, you know? Really have a lot of fun out here. Old school. Old school gaming. The army tank can be kind of tricky to get. Um, I personally, uh, like having, like, a motorbike. I have a motorbike in my house, um, which I think I'm going to go back and grab right now. And then we're going to head up and grab the tank. It's been wild, too. It's like every woman in my life has been so mean to me, you know. My girlfriend totally dumped me, or my ex-girlfriend, but... And then she threw the earrings and everything, and then my boss is so mean to me, but... One of my friends was telling me that she probably wants to have sex with me, and that's why she's so mean to me, but... 
I don't know. Is that how people get get um, other people to have sex with them? Is to be mean to them? I, I don't really get it, you know? So that's why I jump on GTA and I just get after it, you know? I mean, dealing with chicks... I mean, lately it just seems like it's like you're back in the third grade, you know? Like, I'm a grown adult, and everyone still acts like it's third grade. Breaking everything and throwing things, and I don't know. My boss is pretty hot, though. I mean, she's always wearing low-cut blouses, and she is pretty sweet. Um... Just the other day, though, I mean, I actually had to go to the bathroom. I had a, I don't want to be too graphic, but I had a number two, so I was away from my desk for a pretty long time, and she wound up uh, pulling one of the wheels out of my desk chair, and so when I got back, I, I was, my stomach was pretty upset. You know, I've been eating this Thai food quite a bit, and I think it's the lime juice that upsets my stomach, but anyway, I got back to my desk, and she pulled out one of the, um, one of the little uh, wheels on the chair and I fell right on my ass. She thinks it's funny. Everyone in the office thinks it's real funny. They, you know, I guess I'm the, the office clown or whatever. Everybody likes to poke fun at me and stuff, but whatever. I get on GTA and then I get after it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to grab my, uh, my motorbike here. And I find this is the easiest way to go up and grab the tank out of the Air Force Base. You know, it's a good thing that you should have a multitude of automobiles in your, um, in your garage because, you know, a lot of these different uh, challenges call for different things. So that's why I like to keep a pretty diverse... Uh, a uh, group of things in my repertoire. The motorbike is one of my favorites, although I'm. It kind of stinks you can't really customize it uh, that much. I I would prefer to have it hot pink. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you that option. So all right, we're gonna cruise through the streets. Look at that full moon, man! Beautiful. Beautiful, man. You know, like I said, you know, it's Saturday night. It's 2 in the morning. A lot of people are out having great times and stuff, but this is my good time. Just hanging out with you guys, giving you guys a, a good vid to watch on the YouTube. Um, you know, it's not all just beer and panties out there, guys. You know, gaming is um, it's fun. A lot of strategy involved. And it's cool. You know, I haven't even really talked to that many people ever since I got the game. I mean, I haven't talked to my dad in months. But it's like, you know, you get home, you have some mashed potatoes, maybe a chicken sandwich or something. And then, I mean, I don't want to call dad, you know. He's going to be a bummer. and he's, Then he's going to ask you what you're going to do or what you've been doing. And I don't want to say my boss is fucking playing tricks on me in the office and I'm just gta -ing. But it's cool, though. It's like I feel like I'm accomplishing quite a bit. I'm showing you guys a lot of good tips in the game, so there's a lot of good payoff. Oh, no. It is taking its toll, though. I've been playing quite a lot. I've really gotten off my workout regimen. and I mean, Jesus, the other day I got on the scale, and I, since GTA came out, I probably packed on a good 35, 40 pounds. And that's just in a couple of months, but I'm thinking in the springtime I'll get back in the gym. And and I think that'll be really good for my gaming, too. You know, I'll be physically fit and gaming at my optimum potential. And I think that's important for everybody out there. So you just can't just sit around and eat Hot Pockets and just game all night. You know, you got to get some exercise, and I think that's good. Um, you know, it, it pays off in your gaming.
I think there is a, uh, a website out there too, guys, called Gamer Fit Nation. And it does just what I said, where um, not only it incorporates working out, but playing GTA and video gaming. And uh, it's, it's really good. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, sometimes I feel like your brain can go to mush if you're just on GTA all the time. If you can break out of that. I know it's tough because we love gaming, but if you can break out of that for a little bit, get a little exercise in there. You know, maybe a Jamba Juice. I mean, sky's the limit when you get on uh, the game. You know, uh, I am a pro gamer too, so if you're not as good as a driver as me or you're not as good as taking out other players, don't worry. Keep practicing. Get better. Uh, it will happen for you. You just got to dedicate yourself to it. Um, and sometimes taking a little break from the game can really help. We're almost there, guys. I do think the game is uh, definitely fit for all ages, whether you're like 5 or 10 or even 45. I think, you know, it just appeals to everybody. There's a lot of violence and sex and, and you know, everything that life's about. So, you know, I know there's been a lot of things in the news and stuff about, um, you know, little kids playing games and stuff and swearing and using bad language. But uh, I say better on the streets of GTA than on the streets of Detroit. Or at whatever other city you might find yourself in. So we're at the army base now, guys. And um, what I like to do, I, th I feel like when I put on um, the channel Space 103.2, that seems to bring the tanks out. Because sometimes they don't spawn for a long time. But I have a feeling that when you put this radio station on, it really seems to spawn the tanks. I also wanted to let everybody in on the rumor that uh, there is a Yeti in the in the woods here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where. I will do another video where we will Yeti hunt for the GTA Yeti. I haven't seen it personally, but uh, word on the street is it is out there. Uh, I have an insider at Rockstar, so I know all the ins and outs. Um, one of the one of the glitches that they're saying is that if you play Eddie Murphy, if you're in the right woods, I'm not exactly sure what woods. Oh, sorry guys, I just had a uh, my drink spilled a little bit there. But anyway, what I was saying was if if you're in the right woods, I think it's north here. Let me pull up the map and show you. Rumor has it that um, my buddy at Rockstar was saying like. Like up here in, in the wilderness, if you can look at my map. Um, now, the glitch is kind of intense. There is a Bigfoot in these mountains. And what happens, I guess, what, what he my buddy is telling me at Rockstar was that um, if you play Eddie Murphy's uh, My Girl Likes to Party All Night Long, if you play that music during a full moon in these mountains that there is a yeti spawn that there is a sasquatch spawn it is true i have not seen it yet but uh i am going to definitely do a video and we will go yeti hunting um very popular creature right now i know vampires were in for a little bit but uh it's definitely coming back to the yeti and i think that's cool and uh, i'm glad that rockstar is incorporating all these kind of uh timely things and um i do believe that there is a real bigfoot in the real world but i think it's cool that it's in the virtual world world also all right so we are here you're going to want to pull up your sniper rifle okay and these tanks um they spawn oh man hold on guys guys i'm gonna have to cut this short i actually just got a text from my ex-girlfriend uh she wants to talk. So uh, anyway, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do this tank. Um, you know, a part of me says, you know, fuck her. Should I talk to her? I don't know, you know, but, you know, I really miss her. And um, I think I'm going to call her back. So I'm going to come back and show you guys how to get the tank. And we're going to uh, do this all over again. 
Now, the way I like to end each thing is I blow myself up. So I just simply drop a grenade. And I'll see you guys real th soon, okay? Again, it's Bitch Thornberry, Bogey Studios. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you real soon. Love you.